Yo, what's going on everybody? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. So I want to share with you guys this really cool freeze frame intro that you guys can do. All right guys, so first things first, you want your video in the timeline as you can see here. And you want to uh, move the time head or the playhead to wherever you want the effect to start. So I'm going to move it right here, okay? And I'm gonna click on the video. I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna go to edit and add freeze frame. And this will add a screenshot pretty much of that uh, where the playhead was left at. So we have this still image. So go ahead and you know trim this down and drag that above the clip here. So we're gonna go something like this, or sorry, just move that how it was and then just leave it about four seconds long. So we're gonna push play. We need this a lot longer. So around here is fine. Something like that is, is fine. Uh, so we're going from 3.11 to 5.10. So that's about a good two seconds. Make another copy. So press Command C and Command V to paste it and drag that clip above this one here. So now you have two of the same clips and they're still images, okay? Once you guys are at this point, what you want to do is you want to go into the generators. So titles and generators. Go into generators here and go to a custom one. So drag that in between this clip here. Then you want to cut the ends here and delete it. And now we have this black uh, still image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the inspector window. We're gonna disable this clip for now so we can uh, hide that and we can see the layer beneath. So we're going to change that color to a different one. So I'm gonna drag this slider from black to white and choose a color. I'm gonna do like a kind of like a pinkish purple. So I'm gonna screw it. I'm gonna do like pink. So I'm gonna do something like this. Okay. Now I'm gonna go into the video inspector. I'm gonna go to blend mode and I'm gonna change that to linear light. And I'm gonna decrease the opacity to about 40, 45, 46. I don't know. And you can go back here and adjust it as well to kind of uh, make sure you get it how you like it. You can go ahead and enable this one as well. So now we're going to mask her out of this still image. So we're going to go to the effects and we're going to type in, in all video here, we're going to type in mask, or you can just go to mask and then go to draw mask and drag that above this clip here or on that directly on that clip. And you want to go ahead and just make a selection of the person, your object, uh, whatever you're going to be selecting, go ahead and make a selection. I'm going to kind of you know, speed this up a little bit because I'm just want to show you how to do the basic idea of this and I'm not going to perfect it 100% uh, for the sake of time. So I'm going to make this selection here. So now we master out. Dope. So now we can go into the inspector window and we're, can, we're going to increase the feather and we're going to increase that to the right a little bit. So we can get a little bit more of a hair and it's a little bit uh, more smooth on the edges so it's not so rough. So once we've done this and I go to here, you're going to see that we can uh, actually select her out of that clip. So once you're at this point, we want to add our text. So go to titles and go to basic title and drag that also in between this one here and go ahead and trim that to fit the ends at uh, the beginning and ends of this. And then we want to go into the inspector window. Okay. And let's go in here, change the text. I'm going to do Alyssa for this one uh, like that. And I'm gonna change the font to headliner number 45. Uh, link will be in the description of the video. I'm going to increase the size all the way up like so. And I'm going to move this over here. And for now I can move this, don't move the mask, but go to the transform tool if you wanna move her or else you're gonna move the mask. So just move her to the side for now and place your text how you want it, then make another copy and paste that above the text we just created. So we can do something like that. And then we're gonna do violet and I'm gonna drag that below. So something like this, okay? And once you guys are pretty much good with the way it's set, I'm gonna move this down a little bit more though. All right, I'm gonna move violet down and Alyssa down like so. Um, and so cool. So once you have your text, select both of them, right click new compounds clip, click OK. Gay. And now you have your single clip as you can see here. Okay. Like that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to reset it. So now I'm going to change the scale a little bit so we can see how this looks like. So we want it like this. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into this down arrow 
go to distort and I'm gonna move this pinpoint inwards a little bit like that and I'm gonna zoom out here and move this one this top left point I'm gonna drag this in and I'm gonna drag this out and this one out as well so we kind of have this um, kind of illusion that it's uh, a little bit more like it's inwards if that makes sense so you can just drag this in a little bit uh, something like so then click done and you can see how the perspective is changing so click done I'm gonna go back to fit here so now we have this so now we're gonna move the text so go to transform and move this out of the frame it's still visible but it's just out of the frame so you can't see it now we're gonna reset the position on this so it's like that and we're gonna create some keyframes so we're done with everything now we're gonna create some keyframes and add the rest of the effects in the end once we group all the layers together so we have this uh, clip here this one so now we're going to animate it. So to do that, it's really simple. Go to the transform tool, which is what we're going to do everything in. And then we're going to uh, scale this up, but we're first you're going to move it to the left. So we're going to go into transform. You're in the position right here. We're going to focus on X. As you can see, we're going to create a keyframe first. So go to position, click this plus icon to add your first keyframe and push play. And around here, we want it to move to the left. So we're going to now click here and drag this to the left, like so. And you can see now that there's a red line with the arrow, which signifies that you have made an, uh, an animated keyframe. So now you can literally move this up like this if you want, or to the left. Uh, in this case, I'm going to move it up. Um, or no, I'm going to leave it like, like that, okay? And I'm going to click Done. So right here, I'm gonna add a marker by pressing M so I know where all the keyframes are at. We're gonna start it right here where the uh, where the position ends, okay? Where it stops animating, as you can see. We're, then we're gonna go to scale, and then we're gonna push play again. And we're gonna scale that up to the rest of the clip. So go to, go to the end of that clip, go one frame to the left, and then you're gonna scale this all the way, not all the way up, but just a little bit more, a little bit bigger, if that makes sense. So now you can see how this is being animated. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to rotate it as well. So right here is our starting point. So we're gonna go to rotation. We don't have a keyframe, so click this plus icon, drag the playhead to the end, go one frame to the left, and now go ahead and adjust this to how you want. So I'm gonna move it a little bit. If you move it a lot, it's gonna look really bad. So just move it just enough so you can tell it's being changed because then it's gonna look, um, it's just gonna look a little weird. So something like that looks good. All right, so once you're done with that, we're gonna animate the text. So right now the text is still visible, it's just out of the frame. So we're going to go to, uh, we wanna click on the text layer, click on the transform tool, and then you're gonna click this plus icon, and you're gonna go here, okay? And you're gonna drag this to the left. So something like that, okay? And now if we go back and we push play, you're gonna see it animate but we're gonna overshoot it. So we're gonna go a couple of frames inwards like that. And then we're gonna drag this forward a tad like so. So now if we push play, it's gonna go like this. And then once it stops, uh, we're gonna click on this again. We're gonna add another keyframe there. And then we're gonna go a couple of frames more and then we're gonna drag this to where it first started. So around here. So now if we push play, it's gonna look like that, okay? And cool, yeah, that looks pretty cool. You could also move this one as well. So you can do something like over here or over here. So I think that looks a lot better like that. And then from here, all you gotta do from this point right here where we left the marker, we want to go to the rotation. We're gonna add this keyframe there and we're gonna go towards the end, one frame to the left and drag this a little bit down like so. So now if I push play, it's gonna look like that. So now we're pretty much done with the effects. Uh, one thing we need to do though, is we're gonna go into effects, we're gonna go to color or color presets. You wanna go to color presets and go to brighten and drag that onto this mask here. It just makes it look a lot more, you know, like it's part of the layout because then it looks a little bit weird. So now we're gonna group all of this and we're gonna right click, new compound clip and click okay. So this acts as one clip. So now we can go to the effects. So go to stylize and go to bad TV, drag that on there. So you kind of have this like really cool intro TV looking thing. And we're gonna decrease this to about six points. 
maybe a little bit more like eight and we're going to drag camcorder as well a uh, one thing as well if you want to make the background a little bit more blurred out so you have more emphasis on the text and on Alyssa or your object all you got to do is select this back uh, or the bottom clip here and go to the effects go to blur and go to Gaussian blur so this will create a, a nice blur and you can go and adjust the amount here okay and if I go back and we push play uh, with, of course, you would have your audio, but I'm just going to disable the audio for now. Uh, pretend there's music going in the back, and then you got your animated uh, text going on there. And it looks really, really cool. You could also uh, add some a drop shadow here. So, like, if we go into effects, or not in the effects, but in the title itself. So, we're going to also go in here, and we're going to select the text. So, we're going to go to drop shadow. You can enable the drop shadow so it's a little bit easier to read on that light background um, as you can see that looks pretty cool and uh, yeah so if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way be sure to leave a like guys that would be awesome your support has been the best let's see if we can reach 500 likes on this video uh, until next time peace out take care and enjoy your day